Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some. But not for Corona users. Hi everybody, it's Tom from the Corona team. Uh, I'm here to let you know that on Friday the 13th, June 2025, we're releasing Corona 13. I'm going to give you a lightning tour through only the biggest new features in this release. So let's dive in. First, we have the new tune and outline materials. These will let you create non-photorealistic materials, mostly for those times when you don't want to lock things in with a truly realistic material, either for a given project or for earlier stages of a project. Uh, but it's also for those times when you may want to make use of such results as an artistic choice. Because the tune and the outline are separated, it gives you complete control over what you do in the scene, especially as there was a new outline override in the scene settings to go along with the existing material override where you can use the tune material. Add outlines and tune to the whole scene. Give specific objects specific outlines. Have only some objects use a tune material. You can mix and match as you choose on the scene or object level. Next, you can take advantage of GPU rendering speed to render animations that you've built in 3ds Max or Cinema 4D, thanks to using Vantage as your render engine via the live link. Whether that's keyframed, skeletal, cloth simulation, particle flow, and more, you can use Vantage to render out those animations. Think of this as changing your render engine from Corona to Vantage. The DCC will calculate what happens in a frame of the scene based on whatever was animated, and then rather than pass the information to Corona to render it, that information will be passed across the live link for Vantage to render it. You can use this for quick drafts and tests, or even for finals, depending on the needs of your client and project. The AI Enhancer is now accessible from within Corona. Its focus is on improving the look of people and vegetation, while leaving the all-important architecture and furniture untouched. No extra windows or unexpected changes to your materials. With this in place, Corona will benefit whenever the AI team improve the enhancer, without there needing to be a new release of Corona. For example, with the release of extended AI enhancer controls, which are planned for later this year. Watch out for news about those! You can now create a range of new effects from Scatter, thanks to the addition of clusters. This lets you group or bunch up various scattered objects into clusters, and it has three modes so you can achieve the result you're looking for. The first is Generate Mode, which uses noise to calculate the clusters, and lets you adjust the frequency, roughness, edge blend, and diversity of the clusters. You can see the way those change the results here in the animation. And of course, you can combine all of these effects at once too. Then there is Color Map Mode, which will create the clusters based on a color map you connect to the scatter. This lets you define which object should appear within which colored area in the map. And then finally, there is Layer Paint Mode, where you can define which objects belong to a particular layer, and then paint into those layers directly within 3ds Max. This Layer Paint functionality will be coming later in Cinema 4D. Now you can reduce, or even banish, persistent pesky fireflies that can show up in some scenes, uh, particularly in animations. Prime examples might be things like car headlights, or, or even long grass. Uh, and you get this control thanks to the new firefly removal options in the render settings, as well as a simple mode, which should work very similarly to firefly removal recently added in V-Ray, in case you're looking to get the same effect. There's also an advanced mode, which should do a better job of maintaining actual specular highlights while getting rid of those sparkly fireflies. If you've ever needed to achieve the rainbow effect seen on the surfaces of soap bubbles or oily puddles in water, now you can with the thin film parameters in the Corona physical material. You can also bring in a VR scene from Enscape. This way you can use Corona as your render engine for your Enscape scene. And that's it for those bigger features, plenty of smaller features, quality of life improvements and bug fixes included as well. You can read all about those as usual in our release blog. And uh, I hope you enjoy Corona 13 and have a lucky Friday the 13th.